Hey there guys, I hope all of you are having a great Friday. I have a new journal to add to the shop today. This is uh, one of our 5x7 hardcover journals. It has a 2 inch spine here that I beaded with some sweet purples and crystally looking things. I have looked at this pattern so often since I got it and just kind of was waiting on the very, very special thing to do with this fabric. To me, it looks like refracted light. It looks like sound waves. It looks like ripples that would happen in the universe. So this book is chock full of star imagery. It has galaxy imagery. It is just a magical little book that you can add to your New Year's fodder. You know how we kind of go into the New Year and we think, well, you know, this is going to be um, a great time for me to start journaling or to start art journaling. Um, you know, be gentle with yourself and ease into things. But this is just a magical little book. So I'm going to take you through it. The, cl uh, the closure here is a star. So we know when we have any closure that is not round that we kind of press down on the book. And then we can release our stretchy string. The purple is absolutely just luscious. Such a sweet, beautiful color of purple. We start out with uh, an idea to make a wish on the night sky. And then we have some galaxy imagery here. I think this is from Miss D. Uh, some of her original photography that she has altered. It's just an absolutely beautiful piece. Um, here we have a mini book. We have stars on a purple background and you can tell that yes you know they are they are reflective stars there's a quote here and I did put quotes throughout the book so you can use these quotes in your journaling the stranger to Kansas if he listened to the voice of experience would not start upon his pilgrimage at any season of the year without an overcoat a fan a lightning rod and an umbrella and that is a quote from John James Ingalls from 1875. I like the idea of a travel quote at the very beginning of a book because each journal, I mean, the word journal comes from the word journey. And all of your journaling is a journey. It's a journey to yourself. It's a journey to your higher self. It's a journey to your true self. So anything that starts out with a journey in mind, to me, is a great little prompt. You'll see a lot of hues of blue, purple. This says new townhouses, 10 and 3 quarters mortgage. This is a piece of the 1982, 1981 uh, yearbook, world book yearbook. There's no limit to my love. We've got a lot of moon imagery here. This would be a sweet little book. You could actually make this into a mini book because it is like a, I think it's a 3 by 6 piece. I have a little bit of evolution for you, bird evolution. Geography blended with time equals destiny. So this is an altered index card that has a tab that says time. So one, another wonderful place for you to write. There are goals in smart work right here. Another really nice journaling card for you to work on. But you know, when we, when we hear Joel goals or resolutions or things like that. Just remember to be easy with yourself as we go into this new year. Uh, this is a collage collection. Our life is a faint tracing on the surface of mystery. Now, this is a quote by Annie Dillard. It is an absolutely super cool piece. Again, incorporating the blue and purple that we have going on in this book. You know, it's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a color theme because that indicates that everything in here is blue or purple. 
And it is not. It's just heavily decorated with things that are blue and purple. Less words, more action. A wonderful journaling card right there that goes so nicely with this sunrise um, watercolor picture right here. I think that's really neat. This says, you are a star. There's a doily back here to play with. This is a bookmark and uh, some embellishments for you to play with right here. Decide to rise. I love these cards. It's got the moon and stars on it. And I think the decision to rise is yours, isn't it? It is, you know, we can, we're, we're responsible for the rising of our souls or the rising of our circumstances or the rising of our attitude. So this is an excellent little journal prompt, Decide to Rise. This is a six by six piece, you guys, and it says the sun, the moon, the stars. There's a small book right here that you can make into a book. There's another little journaling card right here. Another curated collage collection, this time with birds. We should, we should venture on the study of every kind of animal without distaste, for each and all will reveal to us something natural and something beautiful. That's a quote by Aristotle. You've got to look for the beauty. We don't see it often everywhere, but man, if you just start looking for it, if you just kind of change your attitude and change your vision, you certainly can find beauty in situations where there doesn't seem to be a lot. This says be a dreamer. Have a little bit of map imagery for you. Written in the stars. Another six by six piece is under here. Love this phase of your life. Oh, sometimes that's hard <laughs> to love the phase of life that you're in. I'm in the 60 plus phase. And sometimes that's, yeah, it's not easy to love that. But, you know, I'm here and you're here. That says a lot, doesn't it? There's a journaling card here for you. This is a small uh, card that you can make into a book. It's a folded item in here. It says, Dream Big, um, Scorpio, I don't know what that is. Lyra, Lyra is the, is the constellation here. So we have a Lyra and a Scorpio constellation there. A little bit of bird imagery for you. And there's a bird in a cage. Do you feel like a bird in a cage? You might notice that this bird in a cage, there's an open door right there. Sometimes I think that we confine ourselves. We, we build walls. We build cages. And then we just think, well, I'm going to have to stay here forever because I've built this cage, right? And now I can't get out. Even if there's an open door, even if there is a way out, we sometimes just deny it. We can look straight at it and, and not even see that there, you know, there's an open door there. There's a way out. There's a way to better things. There's a way to freedom. So that's a great little journaling prompt right there. This says the story, and you've got another big journaling card here, a tag right here, some chippy bits right here. Uh, we have some, um, not crystal, yeah, crystal imagery right here. And more crystal imagery here to my love. This is a pad of paper that has some crystal imagery on it. Maybe that's something you might like to do next year. Maybe you might like to get into crystals. Um, crystals are super healing and very much fun to explore and meditate with. More constellations for you. Hercule Hercules and Ursa Minor, Sagittarius and Scorpio right here. Some little journaling cards as well. A little bit of hearts because we all got hearts and we all got big plans. More of the 1981 World Book Yearbook. Another 6 by 6 piece that you could turn into a mini book. This, this little book just has all kinds of all kinds of fodder for mini books. So all you really need to put together a mini book with elements from this particular flow journal is some paper and 
uh, pokey tool and some embroidery floss and you got it right there doesn't even have to be embroidery floss it can be dental floss <laughs> you need to use what you have mermaid napkin right here um an old-fashioned telephone and a heart is there somebody from your past you know maybe a relative that you have not been in touch with for a while did they have an old-fashioned telephone did you used to talk to them on an old-fashioned telephone now is the season friends reach out reconnect this is the constellation ursa major reach out reconnect redo your attitude redo your friendships redo your relationships it's a great you know re 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 and re 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 it's like rah 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 <laughs> just redo the things in your life that maybe are not working and maybe you might like to change this is a wonderful quote about dreaming the dreaming is the founding story the great drama of the creative era in which the landscape took its present form and the people animals plants and elements of the known world were created i love this right here i think that is just a super cool quote and it does go on and on about the value of dreaming and what dreams are got another little bird in a cage right here for you some camera cardstock I love that cardstock I just thought it was super cool and I am using a lot of cardstock in these journals because I picked up three paper pads before I left town as you guys know I'm not working from home and uh, I I I really love the paper pads that I picked up, and I'm very, very happy to have them right now. So they are landing in these journals. We've got a Libra constellation, a Lyra constellation, life, love everything about it. These two pages just work so nicely together. You guys can make journaling cards. You can take this tag and create something cool with it. There's paper back here. There's a blank index card. So just incorporating all of those curated colors will be fun for you guys. We've got some bird imagery, some house imagery. Are you changing homes? Are you going someplace new? This is from the 1986 National Geographic magazine. This is an ad for an old Dakota truck. I thought that was really super neat. I love these gold, you know, gold flex here. 1986. No, this is 1981. I don't know who this ice skater is. But, you know, at some point she had to take the risk, right? She had to decide whether she was going to be uh, just someone who enjoyed ice skating or someone who was taking the professional plunge into ice skating. So I think that this is a great little journaling prompt right here. Take the risk. Maybe over your next cup of tea, you can journal about taking risk and what you might like to risk. You know, whether you're early in life or late to life, there are always things that you can do and have fun with and build um, you know, you just build a different career, build a different direction. I know a lot of my friends are retiring. I won't retire. That's okay. Uh, we've got food photography. Anytime you see food photography, I think it's a great idea to journal about your favorite food, uh, your food memories. I have a lot of memories of my dad making Jiffy Pop popcorn and homemade pizzas. It seemed to, um, my mom's a great cook, but I remember my dad cooking. Um, he would make these things with, he took canned biscuits and would stuff a canned biscuit. He would take a biscuit and put like tomato, bacon, and cheese on it and then put another biscuit over it so it kind of made like a popover type thing and put it in the oven. Oh my gosh, they were so good. We've got some art trading cards here. Another small mini book right here. Now remember the mini books. We do have one completed mini book. And you can use the one completed mini book to teach yourself how to make these other mini books. And like I said, this book is just chock full of that three by six cardstock so you can make some mini books here. I'm going to get this in the shop uh, probably in the next 
30 minutes or so. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I am house sitting in not my usual spot. <laughs> Thanks y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.